Getting a lot of questions on the science behind our frequency technology. So here's Lauren Swenson to tell you a little bit about it. Next question is where can we find more info on the science and the scientific studies that we can reference surrounding the frequencies? That is a really broad question. There is so much information out there. You can Google frequencies, frequency therapies, frequency medicine, all of this type of stuff. But let me just tell you, in the AO scanner, we use three or four different uh, methods of setting frequencies. We use scalar, we use uh, RIFE, uh, we use um, a quantum field, uh, sometimes referred to as a zero point. Uh, we use different methods of setting those frequencies. And frequencies can be electrical, they can be music, they can be auditory, uh, they can be light. Um, so the only thing that I can really point to you on that is to do your research, do some homework on how frequency therapies work and educate yourself on those things and then you'll see how that makes sense with the scanner. Um, remember, we sell the AO scan as an educational tool, not a diagnostic device. You must keep that in your mind all the time. This is educational. It's to help educate you or others on things that you can do in your life to improve um, your, your health or your state of being or your emotion. It's education, not diagnostic. You need to say that mantra every day. It is education, not diagnostic. As you study about these things, you'll start to see how those fit. Um, now, there are studies from the original Russian um, equipment uh, on the big scanner, and not all of that will um, make sense on the handheld device. And we have published, not published, but we have translated some of those Russian documents into English. And uh, when we see the right time and place for those to go forward, we'll, we will put those up, but until then, right now, uh, y your research needs to be on your own. Otherwise, it gets construed as we're pushing this device out as something that is not.